handful of protesters. A handful of protesters have gathered outside El Dorado Hotel, where the New Mexico oil and gas industries annual convention is taking place. Lots of oil and gas exec executives are walking out. This event was kept a secret until the last minute when the Santa Fe New Mexican published an article on uh, Sunday. So that's why there's so few protesters here. We just didn't have enough time to organize. But nevertheless, protesters are here confronting oil and gas industry executives, getting the message out that we don't want fracking in New Mexico. What? Why are you here? Well, I'm here, I'm here to support you. I just heard about this about an hour ago, and I commend you for calling this action on short notice. I'm here because if you look at the oil and gas industry, oh, all the way from financing to extraction to production to transportation to consumption to waste, you will see huge problems. You'll see public health problems. You'll see economic justice problems. You will see environmental problems. And uh, this is because... They're operating in a system that really that really was just set up by people. Everything from international treaties to state laws. These are all decisions and policies that can be changed, but what you can't change is the laws of nature. So I'm here because we have to step up the pressure, we have to follow them around and let them know that we represent the majority of the people that uh, really are here for cystic change, not climate change. Your name is Charlotte Levinson? Yes, it is. And you were, did you march in New York? Yes, I did. Yes, and, I, and so I know that although there's only a few of us that could come out here on short notice, I am here with the 400,000 people that I marched with in New York and the 3,000 people that flooded Wall Street. And the hundreds that marched here in Santa Fe. And, and the hundreds that marched here in Santa Fe and the other half million around the world. So we know that although right here they have more numbers, really, we're winning. I am totally confident of that. I am absolutely sure we can change our system. And what do you think about Carl Rove speaking here? Well, I think it's an opportune time to protest. I think uh, we should question why we have a system that allows people like Carl Rove to rise in prominence. He himself needs to be held accountable for his past actions, but more importantly, we have to change our political system. This industry is actually also, in addition to destroying our economy and our health and our environment, harming our politics. Why else would our own senators who know better introduce a bill that speeds up drilling on public lands? It just doesn't make any sense. Thanks for doing this, Ethan. Thanks, Charlotte. Yeah. Frat Car Rove's dirty politics. Why are you protesting the Car Rove? Because uh, Carl installs corrupt, morally bankrupt politicians, more or less. Here's some more oil industry gas executives walking out of their annual convention here in Santa Fe. They're walking down the street about four blocks to another hotel, La Fonda Hotel, where Carl Rove is speaking at 12 noon. Thanks much. Hi. Would anyone care to comment on the oil and gas industry? Why, why are they here in Santa Fe? Yeah. Watch, uh, watch a documentary on fracking. It's called uh, Frack Nation. It's really good. Right on. A few more protesters here came out on short notice. Thanks for coming. <laughs> What's short notice? Women, no, men, men and women, men and people. Why are you out here protesting oil and gas? Why? I'm not protesting I'm anything. Now. I'm basically I'm on one of four of them. A pro green economy that with alternatives that are already available. So let's not be against anything. These guys have uh, the American business model. God bless them, but they're selling the wrong product. They should be selling cigarettes. Hello. Yeah. Well, thanks for letting us know. Leslie uh, put it out. Yeah. And uh, couldn't pick a beautiful day. Hello. Oh, please, please. Yeah, yeah. It's simple. Keep the oil in the soil. That's that's and end the conversation. <laughs>
My pleasure. Have a great day. Thank you. Lots of oil and gas executives. Hundreds of them have, are swarming Santa Fe today for the annual oil and gas industry convention. Are you an oil and gas industry executive? I am an oil and gas executive, as a matter of fact. Who are you? I'm a protester. Okay, good. Good for you. Welcome to Santa Fe. Well, Why are you here in Santa Fe? Welcome here to uh, Santa Fe to talk about how good oil and gas industry doing for the state of New Mexico. 38% of your taxes, you don't have to pay because of us. So, thanks. How about going solar and wind and supporting the environment? It has, it has, it has a place. It has a place. It just can't replace oil and gas. Not going to happen, dude. Needs to happen. Uh, okay. <laughs> and, th and thanks. I, I appreciate your free speech. I Thank you. And hang in there, okay? Great. More and more oil industry, oil and gas industry executives are walking out of El Dorado Hotel on their way to La Fonda Hotel where Car Rove will deliver a keynote speech. What do you expect Car Rove to say today? That's what he always tells me. No, see, it's just more pressure on me because I got to find two other Clean energy, clean politics. Great message. Do you think the oil and gas industry represents dirty energy and dirty politics? For sure. Yeah. Money, power, corruption. So what do you think about Car Rove being here? Speaking, give, delivering the keynote speech to what? just to how, yeah, all these characters are drawn together. <laughs> what do you think Carl Rove is going to say today? What do you think Carl Rove is going to say today? He said, "Oil and gas is clean energy." How did you get up here? Did you drive a car, or ride a bike. I rode a bike. Made by oil and gas. Good. Good. I'm glad to see you have. No car? Don't own a car? You have a car? I don't have a car, I rode a bike. You you don't have a car at all? No. That's good. So how far of a distance do you ride your bike usually every day? As far as necessary. I'm sorry? Three or four miles. Three or four miles? Yeah, that's easy. Yeah, it's, it's, if you know communities weren't sprawled out like they are, we could get along fine. Well, yeah. Usually communities were dealt, developed where there was work, where there was jobs, and you know, all that good stuff. Huh? You live in Tulsa? Excuse me. Uh huh. Yes. Yes, I live in Tulsa. Yeah. So, what do you think of uh, Carl Rove and that kind of politics associated with oil and gas? Uh, as far as well, Carl Rove, is, you know, has a has history, right? It's kind of like he used to dirty politics. Dirty politics? Yeah, smearing people to. Oh no, 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 not at all, not at all. You, you're a little bit confused. Hey, 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 on the actual so-called barracks. It's all ad hominem yeah. stuff. Like, where'd you get that glasses? And things like that. It's kind of beside the point. It's unfortunate. Well, you know, you wouldn't have plastic if you didn't have natural gas as well. I don't want plastic. And the word well, Your natural, eyeglasses. We're, we're all in this together. We're all part of it. Right. We have to all change it together. You wouldn't have your glasses. another world is possible. Or your hat. I don't care. I'll have to get it. 
that's such a lame argument. You wouldn't have what you have. You know, of course, we're all in this system, yeah. and we have to be part of it to survive. On the other hand, we have to realize... I think humans survived many thousands of years without oil and gas. Right. On the other hand, we have to realize that we can change the system. It's not immutable. We can make it different. We can make it better. So, I don't see why there's really any, uh, any need to kind of make it so personal and so, you know, trivial. Yeah. Basically. It's really a function, I think, of Karov's dirty politics. Yeah. It's the same kind of personal well, you know, attacks. I don't like to personalize it because I really think that we, you know, we're all in it together and all, and we, you know, made mistakes, we did the best we could and we thought we knew what we were doing, but now we've learned more, we know more and we have to change. You can't hold on just because you've made investments that you don't want to go bad, you know. I understand they're trapped in that system, but that's just another reason why we have to change that system quickly. I think there, there's some change happening locally in Santa Fe. Mayor Javier Gonzalez started the Climate Action Task Force and it's holding yeah, I, meetings. I went to the first meeting of that and we'll have to see because so far people uh, really don't have, haven't been expressing, at least in the public meetings, a kind of macro analysis that tells us what is going on internationally, nationally, and regionally, as well as here locally so that we can fit in and stand with people around the world for economic justice and environmental change and, and not just be too narrowly focused on things yeah. like recycling and, and what time the buses run, but understand that among other things, we're here in an oil and gas state. And when we start really looking at what we need as a climate policy, and what we need as an energy policy, we will see very quickly that oil and gas in this state is one of the most, is the most important thing really that has to go and has to change right away. The obvious, yeah. if you look at the science and you look at uh, the direction the world is going, there's just, it's tragic because we don't have yeah. to be doing this. And they always say that oil and gas funds a huge part of our government. It funds education. Ninety-five percent of the state land offices <laughs> revenues come from yeah, oil that's and gas. An example. That's a policy. That's a set of laws and rules and regulations that were put in place by human beings. And we human beings can put in place different ones that don't tie education to destroying New Mexico. That just doesn't make any sense at all. And so we don't have to keep it that way. There's nothing at all that says we do, besides a lot of power, money, and corruption. Absolutely. Hey Jeff, thanks for bringing the megaphone. I'm gonna go park, I'll be back. Okay. Yeah, put it down for a second. How are you? More and more oil and gas industry executives, very well dressed, well heeled, are coming out of the El Dorado. Walking down San Francisco to Carl Rove's speech. What do you expect Carl Rove to say today to you all? What is Carl Rove's message to the oil and gas industry? Why is it closed to the public and the media? Carl Rove is speaking in La Fonda at 12 noon. So. We're going to wait for some more people to come and then march up there. You with the media? Thanks for coming. We're going to wait for some more people to come and then march up to La Fonda where Car Rev is speaking. What's your name? What's your name? Jeff Green. New Mexico wants wind and solar energy, not dirty oil and gas. New Mexico demands wind and solar, clean energy.